I'm Matthew Jebb, director of the National Botanic Gardens. And just to wrap up this extraordinary rhododendron week that we have done under very different circumstances, we certainly hope in the future to welcome people and visitors. So next year in rhododendron week, which we will hold at the same time, we'll be able to show the rhododendrons directly to you. If you live within County Wicklow, you're welcome to visit the gardens and we are open at our usual hours uh, through this summer. One of the things that we have seen this week is the sheer diversity of rhododendrons. And one of the things that we may have mentioned occasionally was the conservation of rhododendron in the wild. Rhododendrons of about 1,200 species, nearly one quarter of them are now threatened with extinction. And one of the roles of a botanic gardens is looking after and conserving the rarity of the plant world. So not only are we here to enthuse people and and allow people to empathize with the plant kingdom. One of our jobs is the conservation of plants and we are surrounded here by propagations of rhododendrons in the gardens, but also new introductions of sometimes species from the wild or different cultivars and variations in the genus rhododendron. And these plants will find their way into the main collection over the next year or two. I'm here with the head gardener, Seamus O'Brien, who has spoken during this week about his travels in Sikkim, and he can tell us really about seeing some of these rhododendrons in the wild. Yeah, so you've had a chance to watch my talk um, on, on Friday, where I took you up the valleys of, of, of Sikkim and to the hill station at Darjeeling. So one of those species we looked at, for example, is rhododendron nivium, the national flower of Sikkim. And just to give you an idea of just how perilous it is, you know, for how these plants cling to the wild. Uh, since Joseph Hooker discovered it, an entire population in one of the valleys in Sikkim was lost to a landslide, and, and that's reduced it to a tiny, tiny population. So what we're doing here, as Matthew has explained, is we're using the gardens as a sort of a Noah's Ark. And it, it, it is uh, frightening what's predicted for this century. It's said that by the end of the century, we'll be losing biodiversity with a cascade effect. And really, actually, what we're doing is sort of trying to get these plants into our garden that should be lost in, in the wild, that, that can, we can repatriate that material back to the wild again. So it's just really to, re, to remind people that rhododendrons are not bad plants. It's one hybrid, uh, a Ponticum hybrid, that has given the genus a, a bad name. Um, and apart from that, they're very wild behaved plants in the garden and in the outer landscape. So we hope you've enjoyed Rhododendron Week. Uh, we'd really like to say a big thank you to our collaborative partners, the Royal Horticultural Society's Rhododendron Camellia Magnolia Group. And we do hope that you come back to um, next year's event because Rhododendron Week is an annual event from the National Botanic Gardens, Kilmacurra. So thank you for watching. On behalf of the Office of Public Works, who manage Kilmacurra, along with 30 other historic properties, uh, it's a pleasure to have welcomed you here during this week and to perhaps see you in future at uh, further rhododendron weeks that we hope will become an annual event here. So not only do these collections uh, here in Kilmacurra highlight the beauty of rhododendron, but I think they also enable us to educate the public about the threats that species like this face in the wild and what we as a National Botanic Gardens are doing to try and counter that. So on behalf of uh, Seamus and myself, it's a pleasure to have hosted you here this week and we will look forward perhaps to see you in person in Kilmacurra in future years. Mm -hmm.